update coming to Modern Warfare. The previous one that just happened and the one that's going to be coming around next week. So there's going to be some updates coming out with some changes that are going to be happening. And actually Little Bullet asked Joe Seacott on Twitter a question on the 30th of December saying, Since we have no prestige... Can we earn a unique icon when we hit max level, which is 155? That would fix the issue of not having the true grind in this game, dot, 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 tanks. Where Joe Seacott replied to them saying, I definitely think there are improvements we can make in this area. Now this is kind of interesting because when you hit level, max level, which is level 155, you can do the officer progression which is new in the Modern Warfare, which is basically officer ranks, which is 100 ranks in every season, which gives you 100 different challenges and completing them, basically gives you a calling card or a playing card, which kind of sucks because these are basically meaningless things. Like there isn't that kind of true grind factor for collecting things like Black Ops 2 had with the diamond camo getting diamond camo on all your guns even the ride shield and getting all gold guns and ride shield and knife as well personally i think having a cool camo like the dark matter matter diamond gold or something like that and have them as a challenge would be really really better than what they have now so someone on reddit actually asked will we see more creator class slots instead of having five have like 10 where art peasant replied saying you and everyone else that has commented on this are right it's in the main line back at the studio and we've been tinkering with it i'm not sure which update it is in but i think it's next believe it or not it can cause horrible bugs if not tested properly i'm not certain about this about all this so don't get fired up on me if i'm wrong since i've commented here i'll stick with the issue at the studio now to me personally from my experience of creating games and programming and everything and i am doing a course in programming and that it's not really that hard like to do it's basically you're just basically copying and pasting the code from the previous five loadouts to make another 10 so this seems like something that they're actually going to be working on which is actually really good because having five loadouts really limits you to what guns you can use like you could be able to use maybe 10 other guns or you could have another loadout that has something else like say the m4a1 has uh, a red dot sight but on another one you have a lot of other perks and a red dot sight or something like that or kind of more more customization in a way now this guy our peasant has commented on a lot of posts on reddit and the main thing that they are going to be working on seems to be customizations which is okay i guess but you know can kind of go back to the fundamental basics and look at what's wrong with the game and what people are complaining about. So the update will probably have spawn updates to shipment, which is needed since the map has come into Modern Warfare. The spawns have not been changed and they are just terrible. Next is the wall breaches and the under the map glitches on ground war maps, which should be fixed straight away and challenges and things like that infinity ward have said they are working on this will defo probably get a roadmap for the ending of season one like what maps characters we could be getting they added on tuesday some new things and next tuesday we'll probably see some of the things i have talked about above what i just said uh come to fruition but they added some things to the modern warfare store was items so there were two new bundles added which was urban avenger and wolf pack urban avenger costs 2400 cod points and wolf pack costs 1600 cod points in the urban avenger you get 
junk pile which is an operator skin patchwork which is an assault rifle variant for the famas next you get hole punch which is a handgun for variant for the 365 magnum a box cutter for your melee for your knife a hidden golem calling card and a few other things which are okay that's kind of why i didn't talk about them you can just see them on the screen like and you know it's okay i guess and the wolf pack doesn't have as much in it as the urban avenger it has wolf's bite which is an smg variant for the bison and the alpha which is a sniper rifle variant which are basically the only two good things in this pack really and truly like i don't see anything else good about this pack they're also added new game modes and these are gunfight 1v1 gun game and shipment 24 7 so gunfight 1v1 is basically what it is it's gunfight but it's just one versus one you and another player versus each other just like rust 1v1 kind of shit which is basically the same as the 2v2 gun game really and truly like there's well one less person same map same everything and gun game which is an old game mode which we first saw i'm full sure in black ops 1 as a party game i loved gun game i still love it it's always have and it's so fun to play however in this game the maps just seem way too big for it. like i feel that they could have cut off maybe certain sections of the map for gun game and not have so many night modes in it they just ruined this game mode and personally the game in general moving on to shipment shipment 24 7 now this map has been fucked from the get-go spawns are terrible people will just spawn anywhere they'll spawn beside you near you in front of you even inside you and it's just a cluster fuck this map has been fucked so you know it's been so bad that infinity war thought you know what instead of having 6v6 we'll change it to 5v5 which they are probably thinking okay so we take out two people that'll fix it right no this hasn't done anything having 12 people on this map was already insane now having 10 people on this map is still insane what they should really do with this map is if they were to do kind of get rid of people again they should do either 4v4 or 3v3 or even make it into a gunfight game mode or map which would be way better for it or even a gun game like maybe small maps like this should be in gunfight and should be in gun game this way it'll be way better but you know these are just kind of my opinions and kind of things that they have put into the game and things that i think they will put into the game next week and yeah this is the end of the video guys i hope you do like it if you did please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button right beside the subscribe button there should be a notification bell if you hit that you will be kept up to date whenever i live stream on this channel or whenever i upload mainly when i upload rare that i live stream on the channel i also have a twitch which i try and live stream every now and then on link to that will be in the description below uh, i also have a twitter where you can go and hit the follow button on that and you can stay up to date whenever i post whenever i upload or whenever i go live also if you are on twitch right now hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to know whenever i go live as well but yeah that's it guys thank you hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace